it y'all it's agp here and it's monday so you know what time it is it's time for another agp video now, so over the weekend there was a few things that kind of happened nothing that's really elaborate or long but i mean i'm gonna hit a couple points here obviously if you saw the thumbnail you saw the the modern warfare 2 picture okay so first of all we already think they're going to remaster this. They have been talking about this for a while, actually. And then a couple of times, it apparently has shown up on the store and PlayStation Network, and then somehow got taken down. So I don't know. After a while, you're like, was it really an accident? The answer to that is no to me. But it could be. I don't know. I'm not in the industry. All I'm saying is that it seems a little unlikely and uncanny that this will happen so frequently. But anyways... Germany there was a in the PlayStation Network store in Germany. There was a picture of the Modern Warfare 2 remastered Well, you know picture cover art uh, First of all for those of y'all who have not played that It came out 11 years ago and to this day. It's still probably a top two Call of Duty game all time I think it's top one. I think it's top two and it's not two, but other people would argue that they like Black Ops, the first Black Ops better which is fair because that was a great game as well and Call of Duty 4 was probably those are probably the top three i want to say but black ops 2 i loved a lot and uh, this new one i love a whole lot but that's that's here that's because it makes me feel like the old ones except updated which is all we wanted that's all we, that's all we've been asking for but the great thing about today is that tomorrow modern warfare 2 remastered should be out they're saying that it's very likely that it will come out that it was leaked and then that tomorrow it's very likely that it will be available for purchase for $30. That's all awesome. I'm extremely excited to watch it in high def or remastered is exactly what we all wanted, what we've all been asking for. The only issue I have or stint I have with it is that I think it's just the campaign. Now, you know, for those of y'all who are like me, before you get mad, obviously that's still great if you love the whole game. But to me, it'd be like playing Splinter Cell Blacklist and then instead of remastering the story you remaster the spy versus mercs thing and you just give that to us it's kind of the flip but it's like not that spy versus mercs isn't cool but you play Splinter Cell for the storyline and the stealth gameplay and the you know like you, you're going to different places recently I've been playing it a lot myself just again on my PS3 I've been playing a few old games as well as some new ones of course you know gearing up for the next couple months where some games that I'm excited for come out Obviously next month Resident Evil 3 and Final Fantasy 7 come out. I don't know if I'm gonna get either one They look cool, but like, you know, my funds are looking a little low, but we'll see Anyway, all that has to say is that most people who love Modern Warfare 2 the most and Call of Duty Black Ops the most Is not because the campaign wasn't great. It's just it's because of the multiplayer the multiplayer was awesome and, and that is what we really want not to say we don't want the campaign, but the campaign should have been an add-on to the multiplayer. Like, if they just gave us a remastered Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, I, I think that would be even more effective than the campaign. And then you can give us the campaign next. But, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not saying I'm not excited. I'm just saying I would have been more excited had we got the multiplayer. Multiplayer is what put it on the map. What would really be awesome is if they gave Modern Warfare 2 to us and they gave us the four-screen local play and and all the and all the old guns and and maps you know and then maybe gave us some new ones just to just to just to mess with us and then you know it's already high def so that would be awesome that would be that would be a that would just be a call of duty dream because if it just and if it played exactly the same so i should be able to knife you from 30 feet away yes it's a little unrealistic but everybody could do it and it was really fun so let's just be honest uh but i'm not saying i'm not gonna get this i probably will get it I might put some of it on the channel. I don't know. You know, we'll we'll see. Modern Warfare 2 is my ish. I do love that game. And I assume, I'm hoping that at a later date, we will get a, a multiplayer. Like, I would hope that you wouldn't just remaster the campaign and leave it at that. Because that's not the nostalgia. I mean, it is. It's part of it. But the bigger part of the nostalgia would be the, the multiplayer. And I wonder if they're planning on doing that or not. Because obviously the servers and everything are so packed with this new Modern Warfare. I really do wonder what their plan is with that. Like I hope. I just I hope they give us the remastered multiplayer. Because that's really what we want. Um, we want to be able to shoot each other with ACRs and FAMASs. And you know things like that. With the old names and everything of that nature. So that is the Call of Duty news from this weekend. I'm very excited for that. 
Um, the only, only a couple of things, you know, Cyberpunk 2077, their, their guys, they donated $950,000 or a million dollars for the coronavirus outbreak, which is really nice. So we applaud you for that. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. Everybody who can hopefully will donate or help out. I mean, I'm not, I'm not one to tell you because I, I'm not, I don't have the means to do so myself, but that'd be awesome if, um, you know, when I do later on and something like this happens again, which hopefully it's not a frequent thing. But I would love to, to help donate. Um, and Resident Evil 3, the multiplayer co-op situation got pulled off of PlayStation Network and PC because um, it wasn't working. <laughs> Essentially, it just wasn't working. The matchmaking wasn't working. But apparently, it's so it's fine on Xbox. You know, so it's weird. But Xbox has been untouched. They've left that up. So if you have an Xbox, congratulations. You guys can still play your Resident Evil multiplayer three demo situation for ps4 and pc players yo you know we're kind of hit but you know um the game comes out in like a few days so really it, you know it doesn't really matter if you were going to get it you were probably going to get it anyways so i don't think this makes much of a difference modders have gotten real excited with this uh with the new with being able to mod resident evil 3 like they put nemesis in some beach trunks but they weren't really trunks it was it was less than a speedo it looked like a thong it was really weird but you know, hey, whatever. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about reacting to that, but we'll see. Um, what I am going to do is react to this Modern Warfare 2 trailer. So, you know, if y'all want to stay tuned for that, let's, uh, let's, let's do this. Let's get this. Uh-huh. I forgot. You know, I really mixed up the whole White House being on fire thing with modern warfare 3 i thought I, I thought it was modern warfare 3 that, that happened but it wasn't it was this is bad. a time for heroes a it time sure for is. legends real Robert. legends captain captain price was always gangster this belongs to you ever since you had to save let's get to work yeah, so, so that's my man it's the boys but um ever since you saved uh what is it captain mcmillan with Captain Price when he was that was his captain and he wasn't a captain yet, bro. I was like, yo, Captain Price is a little different. The man basically took on a whole army by himself. See and seeing the snowmobiles makes me reminds me of the spec ops. Don't y'all want them to remaster the old spec ops? Dog, they could they I think let's go. Damn. Dark numbers of hostiles are converging on your position. Damn. Light him up. Light him up. Good catch, man. Oh, I'm not saying I'm not ready to relive the epic campaign. I am. I'm Like I said before, I'm excited. And they got a little extra something here for us. What is this? Stay frosty, yeah? Okay. Hold up. So they gave us <laughs> some extra stuff that's coming with this campaign for the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It says Underwater Demo Team Classic Ghost Bundle. That's what's up. I don't know what gun that is. Task Force Weapon Bullet Print. It looks like the M4A1. It, it's probably uh, a blueprint. I said bullet print. Wow. Can't spell. It, or read. Can't do anything. Illiteracy. Uh, all I'm saying is that that's kind of lit. So, um, okay, okay. They did something with this little this little bundle. It looks like it's going to be cool. I, like I said before, I am hoping that we can get the other things remastered. Maybe they're doing it in parts. I don't know. I hope they don't just stop at the campaign because that would be a little bit disappointing, but not like to a point where I wouldn't be happy. But I'd be like, y'all gave us a whole remastered version of Call of Duty 4. Why would you only give us the campaign for Modern Warfare 2 when you know Modern Warfare 2 was 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 the best. Um but I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Are you excited for this? Did you prefer the multiplayer be remastered or spec ops be remastered? Um you know, are you gonna get it? And you know how 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 uh how excited are you for it? Let me know down in the comments. Um I'm excited. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be great playing it at a higher definition with higher frame rates 
But yeah, I'm going to catch y'all next time, all right? Peace.